I'm Nell and welcome to my activity club in my little sunroom in Sydney. Let's have a bit of a chat about problems. As an artist, sometimes visual problems or problems within an artwork are the very thing that makes that artwork come alive and is really special. Sometimes I even go out of my way to create a problem in a sculpture or a painting just so I can try and solve it. I've come to love problems so much I even have notebooks full of them. There's nothing I love more than going to the studio and making art and riding my skateboard. Chocolate delivery to the studio. And I can't do that at the moment and that's a real problem for me. So we're going to use my problem as an example for this activity. I've called this activity how to solve a problem. However, we all know that if a problem was easy to solve, then it wouldn't be a problem anymore and you wouldn't need to watch this video. So today, what we're actually going to do is move a problem around the four directions of our body. Front, side to side, and behind. You can do this activity right where you are, you don't need anything, but you can also draw it out on a piece of paper too, that might be helpful. So, are you ready? I'd like you to think of a problem you have. It can be any problem, small or large. And imagine that problem is right in front of your face. I've got my problem right in front of me and you've got your problem right in front of you. Now let's turn to the right and imagine there's no problem where the problem doesn't exist. In my case, that would mean I could go to the studio and ride my skateboard and make art till my heart's content. Now let's turn to the left. Now this is the place where the problem and the opposite of the problem live together in harmony. Now let's turn this problem around and look at it from behind. This is where we ask, in the end, does it really matter? If someone I love dearly were to call me up in five minutes and say they were really sick or their house had burnt down, then I'm not really going to be thinking about my problem thinking about going to the studio and riding my skateboard are going to be swept away in an instant. When I do this activity, I usually find some truth in that third step where the problem and the opposite of the problem coexist because quite frankly, that's life. I can't wait to get back to the studio to ride my skateboard and to create some big artistic problems. Stay well. Bye for now.